Good morning friends, I am Sibi and today we are going to discuss about how an operational amplifier is used for wave shaping. So now, what is an operational amplifier? Got some idea? If not, I hope the only place we are going to land is Google. But believe me, finding on this what you exactly need in Google is like finding Nemo in the ocean. What I mean is, it's really a laborious and time consuming work. But don't worry, say hello to Professor Edward who is here to help you. He already got the fish you need. So now let's move on to the topic. So what is an operational amplifier? An operational amplifier or uh, usually called as op-amp is nothing but an linear integrated circuits having multiple terminals. I hope you know what is an integrated circuit. If you do not, integrated circuits are nothing but uh, many simple electronic circuits are built on a semiconductor chip which is, which is nothing but an integration of circuits and, uh, uh, and uh, it helps in performing specific functions. And uh, the main application of uh, op-amp is as the name suggests it is an uh, amplifying device and it is usually usually used to amplify voltages and is uh, usually designed to be used with external feedback components such as resistors and capacitors it is a high gain electronic voltage amplifier and its gain is really high it's in the order of 10 power 5 to 10 power 6 with a differential input and uh, usually single ended output so by uh, Differential input is what I mean is an op-amp consists of two terminals called as inverting and non-inverting and the difference in voltage between the two terminals will be amplified. And op-amps are, the, are among the most widely used electronic devices today as they are used in a vast array of consumers, industrial and scientific devices. And today we are mainly focused on how it, is, uh, how it helps in wave shaping. So now let's dive into the actual topic op-amp for wave shaping. So usually wave shaping circuits are the electronic circuits which produce the desired shape at the output from the applied input waveform. Usually there are two types of wave shaping circuits they are called as clippers and clampers. On these wave shaping circuits can be built using op-amp. And today we are going to see how we are going to build these uh, clippers and clampers using op-amps. So an op-amp based clipper is an electronic circuit that produces an output by removing a part of the input above below a reference value. So by that what I mean is the output of the clipper will be same as that of the input for other than the clipped part that is the part that has been cut. So due to this the peak to peak amplitude of the output of the clipper will always um, be uh, less than the less than that of the out input. And as we see the main advantage of clippers is that they eliminate the unwanted noise present in the signal. The noise is nothing but an unwanted signals. And also clippers are classified into two types. Uh, they are positive and negative clippers. So now let's move on to the positive clip. A positive clipper is a clipper that clips only the positive portion of the input signal. And the below shown circuit diagram is the circuit diagram for the positive clipper that has been built using op-amp. So what actually happens in this circuit is that um, a sinusoidal voltage signal a VT is, uh, is applied to the non-inverting terminal of the op-amp that is uh, the terminal with plus sign and the value of the reference uh, voltage can be chosen by varying the resistance R2 so oh, now, now let's discuss about the operation hap happening in this circuit so what actually happens here is if the 
value of the input voltage vi is uh, greater than the reference voltage then the diode will conduct that is the diode d1 will conduct and uh, this entire circuit behaves as a voltage follower so that the output voltage will be same as that of the input voltage uh, and that is uh, v0 will be equal to vi v0 will be equal to a vi uh, under the condition that vi that is the input voltage is uh, less than the reference voltage and if the value of the VI is greater than the reference voltage, this uh, VREF, the diode uh, will be in off condition. So now here the diode will, uh, sorry not the diode, the operational amplifier will act as an open loop. It acts in an open loop condition and the feedback path was open. So here the output voltage V0 uh, will be equal to the reference voltage that is VREF. So this happens under the condition that is the VI, the input voltage is greater than the uh, reference voltage. So now uh, let's see the graph. So here the input uh, waveform and the corresponding output waveform has been shown. As you can uh, clearly see, uh, as you can clearly see that uh, once the input voltage or uh, value reaches and that is a uh, VREF reach actually when the input voltage uh, value exceeds the reference voltage uh, then the, that part during this period of time the op amp uh, doesn't conduct and it is equal to the reference voltage actually uh, the op amp works in an open loop condition and uh, the output voltage is equal to the reference voltage so the that part of the so that part is being cut from the input signal so i hope you understand now let's move on to the negative clipper so as we already discussed here uh, a sinusoidal input voltage VI is applied to the non-inverting terminal that is the positive terminal of the op amp. The value of the reference voltage will depend on the resistor chosen for R2 that is uh, depends on the value of R2. So here if the value of the input voltage VI is greater than the reference voltage VREF then the diode D1 conducts then the above circuit behaves as a voltage follower so the output voltage will be same as the input voltage that is VREF will be equal to VI when VI is greater than VREF sorry sorry that is the V0 will be equal to VI when a VI is greater than VREF and if the value of the input voltage VI is less than the value of reference voltage then the diode uh, D1 will be in off condition so the op amp will operate in an open loop condition as the feedback path is open uh, so the output voltage V0 of the circuit will be equal to the value of the reference voltage that is uh, V0 will be is equal to VREF uh, when VI is less than VREF that is uh, when the input is less than the reference voltage so now let's let's discuss the so now let's discuss the input waveform and the corresponding output waveform of the negative clipper so here uh, what actually happens is we are uh, fixing the reference uh, voltage at the negative side of the axis that is uh, the VREF has been uh, set as set as negative. So once the input voltage that is the varying sinusoidal input voltage uh, reaches the reference uh, value, it get clipped. That is the voltage. That is the voltage. The input voltage value when it exceeds the reference voltage value, it get clipped off. So that's it in this topic. So let's move on to the clampers. So uh, what op amp based clamper? So it is nothing but as a electronic circuit that produces an input which is similar to the with output that is similar to the input but with a shift in the DC level. Mm. 
to make it simple and the output of the a clamper uh, is an replica of the input given to the clamper so hence the peak to peak amplitude of the output of a clamper will always uh, be equal to that of the input a uh, clampers are uh, usually used to introduce or restore the dc level of the input signal or the output there are uh, two types of clampers um, as we seen in clipper it is positive and negative clamper so now let's move on to the positive clamper a yeah, positive clamper is a clamper that produces an output in such a way that the input gets shifted vertically by a positive dc value so the below shown diagram is the circuit diagram of the positive clamper now let's discuss its operation so here uh, in this circuit an uh, sinusoidal voltage or uh, input voltage is given that is vi um, and it is uh, applied to the non inverting terminal of the op amp through a network that consists of a resistor a r1 and a capacitor mm. to make it simple uh, an ac voltage signal is applied to the inverting terminal of the op amp so and uh, reference a dc reference voltage is applied to the non inverting terminal of the op amp and its value can be um, changed by changing the value of the r2 so in so in this case we are going to get a reference value that is uh, a positive that that will be a positive mm, here uh, the circuit produces an output which is a combination of the resultant sum of the sinusoidal uh, voltage signal that is vi and the reference voltage vref that means the clamper circuit produces an output in such a way that the sinusoidal voltage signal vi gets shifted vertically upwards by a value of the reference voltage that is vref now let's see the input and the corresponding output voltage so as you can see the input voltage the applied input voltage has been shifted uh, by a constant dc value which is nothing but uh, the reference voltage value so remember this vertically upward shift will always depend on the dc reference voltage value so now let's move on to the negative clamper so a negative clamper is a clamper circuit that produces an output in such a way that the input signal gets shifted vertically by a negative dc value the below given circuit uh, is the circuit of the negative clamper and let's now discuss the operation of the clamper as we discussed below a sinusoidal input voltage that is vi is applied to the inverting terminal of the op amp uh, and through through the capacitor c1 and the resistor r1 as we said earlier the input voltage will be an ac and the reference voltage that is applied to the non inverting terminal uh, will be a constant dc value and its value depends on the resistor r2 so in this case the resistor r2 uh, value will be taken such that the reference voltage will be a negative one so here the uh, above circuit here the circuit produces an uh, output which is a combination of uh, sinusoidal input voltage and the reference voltage that means the clamper circuit produces an output in such a way that the sinusoidal input voltage gets shifted vertically downwards by the value of the reference voltage also for clear understanding let's see the graph so i hope this lecture was helpful so thank you friends